100% visibility is, is, is not really realistic to reach. But you need to try every day, right? The gaps are existing and the, the gaps are, are, uh, are always appearing, isn't it? But you just need to find the gaps before the hackers do. What are the, the key steps of, of uh, finding these gaps as soon as possible? I'm really glad you asked the question this way because many people think about it this way. And the reality is that when it comes to visibility, you have to be at 100%. Really? And you, 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 cannot, you cannot have 99.9% .9 visibility. Uh, with our tools, you know, we can get to the millionth precision. Uh, an example, we were reviewing a very complex ERP. There were over 4 million access and there were four missing. And we found that there were four missing that were unaccounted for. And we found all four. And that's, you know, four in f 40, it was, well, I don't remember, four or 40 million, but you think, let's that's just say right, the, the smaller number, number let's just yeah. say four million. Okay, four but, million. Uh, so four out it, of four it, million. It, uh, four out of four million, pretty good betting average, right? <laughs> because at the end of the day, you have to have 100%. You cannot leave a single piece unobserved. Mm -hmm. Now, are you gonna close all your gaps? If, if uh, those four accesses, for example, are incorrect, but they're, medium severity or, or medium security level or from a compliance standpoint you know they are they are low uh, sensitivity then then basically you may say that you're okay with that you accept that risk but you need to know about it so knowing about it and fixing are different and that's very often confused so your visibility your observability needs to be a hundred percent okay and then can you fix everything you may not have time to fix everything. And that ties back to the risk that we were talking about earlier, yes, exactly. that you can rank the risk and you focus on the highest risk yeah. because you will always focus on what will make the biggest difference for your company. Okay. And from a security perspective, the biggest difference is to treat the highest risk. Okay. Okay? And then you can go low, lower in risk, lower and lower as you, get, as you advance in your projects. And then when you reach those items that are below the acceptable risk threshold, then you're done. Because you achieved everything to the acceptable risk level and that risk appetite depends on your organization. You know, a bank has a much lower risk appetite mm -hmm. than for example, a, a car washing company. A car wash, exactly, very good example, thank you. Thank you for listening to the video. I really appreciate that you went all the way to the end. I would appreciate also if you click the subscribe button hit the bell because every week we will be publishing some interesting topics on cybersecurity, CASM, IAM, IGA, and enterprise topics.